Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on The Crow. This movie came out in 1994 with Eric Draven, uh, Brandon Lee, uh, met his demise due to a blank being discharged improperly and it ended up killing him in the end. Shame though, because he was a great actor. I liked his acting and stuff, especially in Rapid Fire. He was good in that movie with Dolph Lundgren. Okay? But anyway... Um, he did a good job on this movie. Now the second one has um, a different character who does a crow. That movie was just as good in my opinion. It was actually uh, very cool. But then the third and the fourth one, not so much. They end up having um, Edward Furlong do, I think, the fourth one. And it was really cheesy. Okay? No offense, but, you know, I like the first two and that's pretty much it, okay? The others, and there was another one, the third one. A different, completely different character. It was okay, but it wasn't nothing worth talking about. But the fourth one, in my opinion, was the worst one of the bunch. But anyway, now uh, there is um, they're going to be doing a reboot on this um, particular movie. Now, in my opinion, when it comes to Jason Momoa, they did do images and concept art based on him as Eric Draven. Personally, I think he would have done a better job. But Bill Skarsgård, don't get me wrong, he's a fantastic actor, extremely talented, especially in the movie It, uh, when he uh, portrays uh, Pennywise. He does a really good job in that, and I also think he's in, it was in Renfield, I don't think. Was it Renfield? I think it was Renfield, yeah. He's in that movie too, so, but anyway, um. I think Bill Skarsgård would do a fantastic job if they did um, the character from uh, the Conjuring series. It is called the Crooked Man. I think he would do a great job at that particular guy because he's actually tall and skinny. I think he would uh, look perfect in it, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, I've seen pictures of him as Eric Draven. It's not bad, but it's not that good. Uh, but that's just me. It just looks a little funny to me, but... I'm sure they're going to do a great job with um, Bill Skarsgård doing Eric Draven. Um, you know, as long as they do the storyline and everything right, the movie should be pretty decent, especially with Bill Skarsgård, because that man can act. Okay, he's a serious talent. His dad's a serious talent. He's in the Marvel movies as bunch of, as well as a bunch of other movies, and his other brother Alex is also in uh, Godzilla vs Kong. He's also Tarzan. They're all talented. Extinct extremely talented uh, family there but anyway this is a diamond select version of Eric Draven now the detail in my opinion is not exactly highly detailed but for the price you can't go wrong and when you look at it you know it's Eric Draven and stuff so what we're gonna do before we get into all that I'm gonna shut it down and do the usual uh, we're gonna look at some of the accessories and then we're gonna touch base on the articulation and you know talk about this particular figure so I'll be right back first let's get into the actual accessories when it comes to uh, this particular diamond select uh, figure we're gonna start off with this here sorry about the camera okay hangman and I know it has something to do with the movie I'm not positively sure All right. see the back is, is very colorful in nature <laughs> okay there you go that's it guys have a nice day that's no, okay. good right. now this guy right here is a crow obviously it's synonymous to the movie all right so let's get into a close-up shot of it okay now for me when you see the figure and the crow I don't know if you can actually hook him up on his shoulders or not okay because I can't really tell if you can or not but it is a very cool looking crow okay All right, now there is a certain amount of flexibility to this thing as you can see right here soft it's like a soft plastic but anyway, that's the crow that comes with the actual figure. Now, we are going to take this off of its stand and we're going to look at the stand. Okay. 
Okay, hang on for a second here. Let me brush off all the dust because I got this a while back. All right, that stand comes with. All right, that says the crow on there. All right, and that's the um, where you put your uh, figure, so it stands properly. Okay, enough about the stand. Let's move on to Mr. Draven. All right, now. All right. I mean, this is not an exact replica of Brandon Lee, but it's pretty damn close, so when you do look at it, you know it's the crow. Okay? The actual suit in itself is pretty cool, too. Again, it's got the holes in the bottom of the feet. So you can see it. There you go. Right there. All right. The back of it. Focus. All right. And then we'll get into the articulation here in a second. Now the hair in itself is very hard. It's all one piece. Let's get into the articulation. The head does move. Okay, because I haven't moved it, I snapped it out of its place, so it moves rather easily. Okay, say what? Okay, arms they move, and I believe they bend at the elbows too. Yep, they do. It's got very similar articulation to that of a NECA figure. Yep, even the hands move like that. It's just a smaller figure, that's all it is. Okay, now the torso does move. You can shift it, position it. It's on a ball joint, so you can move it and shift it down if you want to keep them in that position. All right. All right, now, the torso moves, the legs, they're on a ball joint. Okay, they click, so, okay, quite easily, too. That's pretty cool. All right. They bend at the knees, okay. The feet, they do rock back and forth, so you can position it like that, all right, and that's pretty much it on the articulation of this figure. So we're going to put him back on the stand, okay. Let's try the other one here. There we go. Alright. Hang on for a second here. We're going to pull this back. And then we're going to put them right back up on the turntable. Now, like I said, when it comes to the crow, I was thinking about actually kind of gluing him right on there so he just kind of hangs with Eric Draven. But uh, yeah, I got this a long time ago and I thought it was pretty cool. I'm going to move that in a little bit. And there you go, guys. Anyway, long story short, I like the first movie and the second movie. Those were very cool. Um, but uh, after that, obviously, they kind of got cheesy, especially with the Ed, Edward Furlong, who was actually the kid in Terminator 2. And, you know, he started uh, playing in all these, you know, really low-budget type movies and stuff. But anyway, long story short, they're actually doing a reboot for this one here. One is going to come out. We have to wait until after the uh, Actors and Writers Guild uh, strike. Once we get past that, Hopefully we'll be able to see this thing in due time, okay? But anyway, this is my Eric Draven. It is a Diamond Select figure, so if you want to order it, it is under Diamond Select. I actually got this from Walmart, and I think I got it for like 
30 bucks, maybe less than that. Um, but it is a nice figure, okay? I will tell you that because I like the crow, okay? I got this. I don't think there's, I don't have anything else based on the crow other than the fact I got the movies, that's it. But outside of that, I don't have any other, you know, type of collections based on Eric Draven. But it was a very cool movie. The whole rock uh, theme. Um, his girlfriend, she was gorgeous. <laughs> But anyway, the way they died and stuff like that in the movie, it was a good movie in my opinion, okay? Fire it up! Fire it up! Anyway, I like the way he kills those people too, man. Yep. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular uh, figure uh, review. It is a good re um, figure, but like I said, it's a Diamond Select. And it's going to run around the same price, maybe a little bit cheaper than a NECA figure. Uh, Mezco does some fantastic job on their figures and stuff, but they're a little bit pricier. Um, along with, you know, you got your Diamond Select and NECA and, what is it, uh, McFarland. McFarland, they do figures, but I don't know if they do figures based on the Crow. But, yeah, if you're into figure collecting and stuff like that, there's a bunch of them out there. If you're willing to pay some money, yeah, there's some decent ones out there, especially the resin statues and stuff. All right, I'm going to stop dragging this out. Got to end it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys at the very next video.